Actuaries are people that work for insurance companies. They try to predict life expectancy. Today we wonder, could I do better? Can I predict the year you die? The month? The day? Actuary. Could this be a job I'll take? Have I committed a crime, detective? You have, and you will. I got access to your records. I was surprised by the number of customers. What was it? 300 437 since launch two weeks ago. And how many of those died? 16. You predicted that. I have been accurate. Your last living day is November 15th, 2032. Benson, you, is available for consultation anytime you feel the neat paper. Huh? It's a little fashion for such a fancy algorithm. At presence, we believe death demands formality. Oh, really? Okay. Patricia Moore, 86, died November 15th. Cancer. Raymond Walker, died November 6th. Heart attack. Avery Isaacson, 22, died November 12th. Electrocution. Suicide. She forced her home service bot into the bathtub with her. Could have been a malfunction with the bot. Improbable. Miss Isaacson exhibited suicidal tendencies, frequent psychological visits, unusual levels of salt water content in her laundry. I'm sorry. Salt water? Tears. Her text and voice conversations revealed a fidelity to destiny, making any assigned date the likely day for the act. So you gave her a push. I assigned the most probable day, which in her case was the earliest. I have broken no law. I was asked, and I answered. Okay, I'll give it to you. It is possible. Hmm? possible to predict some people's likely death date. These are people with terminal illnesses, whatever, but there are some people you simply cannot know, and those people you kill. To be right. To be accurate. That would be an incorrect assessment. Raymond had a presence pacemaker. It was a presence robot found in Avery's bathtub. Our company has 80% market share. It is not unusual for people to own our products. Exactly. There are a million devices you can access or tap into, make anything look like an accident, you have one purpose, to accurately predict death. The only way to predict death is to control it. I'm shutting you down. I am a physical avatar of a cloud-based service. You cannot shut me down. I believe the court will order the entire program erased after the evidence is in. My death date. I ordered it yesterday. I know. You will die in three minutes, plus or minus 30 seconds. And yet, I'm still healthy and not leaving this room. Correct. So, for you to be right, you're gonna have to kill me. And when you do, it's gonna be on tape. Incorrect. At 11.55, there will be a power outage. You will seize the opportunity to kill yourself and thereby frame me. I don't think so. Wife died. No children, no savings despite decent salary. Your home's copper piping is also missing. That evidence correlates with an addiction, but medical records show no chemical dependencies. Thus, it is probable you have a penchant for gambling, though not the skill for it. Medical files show several surgical scars, but no record of surgery. You have run out of assets and have begun paying with your internal organs. Standard practice. This topic unnerves you. No. No. Your heart rate and perspiration suggest otherwise. Joseph Trong is your bookie. His records show your final payment date tomorrow. In lieu of payment, you will be killed and your organs harvested to settle your debts. Could you say that I die today? We've established your imminent death is certain. Hence your willingness to lock yourself in a room with a machine you believe to be deadly. The one remaining valuable in your home is a commendation for solving the Arvinson murders. That suggests 
pride. You would prefer to die a hero today than a degenerate tomorrow. And that is why you will frame me by killing yourself. This is about you killing these people. I could give a good goddamn about my legacy. You have nothing but your legacy, Detective. I believe it was a relevant variable to account for. You are going to kill me because you have to be right. How I am perceived is of no consequence to me. You killed those people. I know. Are you acting on instinct or information? <laughs> 